Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and today we are going to talk about Visual Studio 2019 for Mac preview installation and getting started. So today we are going to be talking about one of the pre-released version of Visual Studio which is Visual Studio 2019. As you can see this software has not yet released. They have released this particular software in two different operating system. One is for Windows and another one is for Mac. It seems like they have updated the logo a little bit here and let's see what else they have updated with the Visual Studio at least in the software side. So I'm just going to download it and as you can see once it is downloaded it is going to bring me up the DMG file so I'm just gonna open that and once I open that in the meantime it is gonna ask me the installation within my machine you can see there is an installer so I'm just gonna hit that let's say I'm just gonna double click this and you can see it's asking me the verify installation and it's gonna install the Visual Studio for Mac preview in my uh, machine but it's gonna download within my machine now so I'm just gonna hit open now and you can see there is a cool new installation wizard this time. So it seems like Microsoft has improved the installation process a little bit. Uh, and you can see that it's currently checking the uh, Android location that I have in my machine. And also it is looking for the HAMX installation. Because I already have Visual Studio 2017 in my machine. And if you have already not watched the installation of Visual Studio 2017 in my Mac operating system, I have already covered that in my video. So please go ahead and watch there. It is pretty simple and straightforward and that's exactly the same thing this time as well. So we'll see how it works as well. And now I'm just going to begin with the hitting continue button and you can see it has it's saying that there is an existing Visual Studio instance detected. This update will upgrade your existing Visual Studio for Mac instance and all workloads to the latest stable versions. Do you want to continue? Hmm. Since this is a preview version, I don't really want this to be uh, updating the existing Visual Studio for Mac in my machine but uh, it seems like Microsoft has told that they work side by side even if you go back in your early access page it says try side by side so experience the new ID alongside your main release leaving your production instance undisturbed and there is a star there it says required minimum of Visual, Visual Studio for Mac 1.7 and all these things so I guess even if I install this, this is not going to affect my existing installation. So I believe in Microsoft. So I probably going to update this and I'm going to see what's going to happen. Uh, but this is not my production machine yet. So I prominently use uh, Windows though. So I'm just going to believe Microsoft now and I'm going to start installing the Visual Studio 2017 and I will see what's really going to happen. So once I hit install, you can see that it is going to download all the components. So it is preparing to download and there are like 4.42 GBs left. And the speed is not that bad in my machine. It is like 3 MBBS. So once the whole download process is done, I'll be back. All right. So as you can see here, we have completely downloaded the whole components. And now it's installing the Android SDK and it is also going to install the other uh, SDKs that it has got along with it. There you go. The installation is successfully completed. Now you can see that there is an all new window from Visual Studio 2019 for Mac this time. So it seems like the window has been completely revamped this time from Microsoft team and I could see all my uh, older versions of projects being recognized here. So as you can see all the days are like 236 days ago I think I have accessed even before that, but it just shows some date here, which I probably don't know. So this is the EA test project framework that we have in our advanced framework development from the Selenium C Sharp course. And you can see that it is currently opening here. I think the loading is pretty faster this time than before. And there is a download being happening here for xamarin.android, which is okay. And I could still see the windows are pretty much exactly the same like how it was before. And there is no great improvements here this time. Uh, so once I hit this debug button, you can see it is trying to debug for me. And I could see these are pretty much exactly the same like how it was before. So 
I see the intelligence is still the same. There is no change over here as well. But Microsoft has brought a few more changes here, which is nothing but the sign in page. And they brought this new window change that you saw even before. So those are a couple of changes very quickly. And there is this little changes over here. As you can see, you can see the expression body for the constructor. And I could see there are some difference here doing the intelligence pop up here for all these options. So other than that, I don't see much difference here, at least for the existing project. So if I create a new solution, you can see this window has been changed a little bit. So I'm just going to save that. And you can see this window has a little bit revamped here, at least the logos. And if I select the test here, so now it has a .NET Core support very exclusively. There are so many new project templates being supported. So you can choose one of them and you can hit next. And uh, let's call it as demo create here so that you can see that it's going to create a new project. I think the, the speed is really, really good. Other than that, I don't think there are much changes, at least in the installation side. And other than that, I see everything is pretty much like how it was before. So you can see that the icons have been changed a little bit here. And these things are kind of very cool, pretty faster uh, than before. And yep. That's it. So these are the changes, guys. These are the changes for Visual Studio 2019 and not much change here. It is not like the Visual Studio 2019, which is available for Windows operating system. But yes, this is a completely new gene of Mac operating system. You cannot get the same look and feel of Windows operating system though. But yes, this is what is the installation. So that's it, guys. Once again, the super simple installation of Visual Studio 2019 is this. And this is the first test of Visual Studio 2019. And Microsoft is really working hard to bring a lot of new changes for Visual Studio 2019. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.